All right, we have the unboxing of uh, uh, the, these very affordably priced uh, motorcycle pants, as it was said in the ad. Let's see what we got. Shipping was pretty fast. I would say probably uh, two days, three days, something like that, including the weekend. Okay, looks to be the color that I was looking for. Oh. And uh, I got, oh yeah, that came in the same thing. Moto Loot. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But here's the pants. A lot of people complained online that the uh, smell was very rubbery. Definitely a little bit of a rubber smell. Um, I wouldn't say very thick jean material. And knees aren't uh, double, so... Well, maybe the knees are a little bit double in the front, but... Yeah. I wouldn't call them motorcycle pants, but I would call them uh, nice... Uh, so, pseudo nice jeans. Um, are these real or are these fake? And those are fake. That kind of sucks. Uh, I feel like I have girl jeans now. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, there we go. Oh, doesn't have a button, so you can ride. And that's not going to interfere with your, uh, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, I don't know how well that clasp is going to hold up to, repeated use. It's just on one side attached. Looks like just a rivet. Yeah, so that might be early to die. Oh, got another one at the top there, so it's double like that. Zipper's not too bad. Yeah. And I bought a 46, which uh, that looks like about a 46. I'm sure, it'll fit my giant ass. Authentic indigo denim product. Cottons from Japan and Italy. Right hand twisted, three to one construction. What the hell does that mean? Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. Pause it. They're like denim sweatpants, to be perfectly honest. The knees are thin. It's got a nice pocket here, but no clasp on top. But it is stretchy, so I can put my ass on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>